amino acids are the building blocks of all proteins and uh, the body needs protein. We build muscle and tissue with protein. So let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And eating protein gets your amino acids if you're breaking your protein down. But let's talk about the amino acids. Now, most of the amino acids that your body needs, uh, it makes. It sort of manufactures most of the amino acids. But there are some what we call essential amino acids, which means for whatever reason, we don't make these amino acids, we have to eat them. So when we start talking about taking amino acid supplements, we really need to be, uh, you know, understand that there are some of these that we have to take in through our food, uh, you know, either through a supplement or through our food. Now, amino acids are, are very important, and the whole, there's an entire science of amino acid chemistry uh, and, and from a health science perspective that is you know, whole textbooks. And so I don't even, it's been a fascinating thing I've been wanting to study. I don't know all there is to know about that by any stretch. I do know that amino acids are absorbed in blocks, that the ratios of amino acids do matter, uh, what kinds of amino acids that you have, you know, that in, in, in relation to, the, to each other will affect the absorption of the other. And there are definitely things that block absorption of amino acids. Uh, one of the things that blocks amino acid, absorption of amino acids in your gut is partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, which is one of the big no-nos. We've got to get rid of that. So we've got to stop poisoning the musculoskeletal system by stop eating partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. Uh, big, big deal uh, if you want to get, if you want to be, well, if you want to be healthy at all, but certainly if you're looking to build muscle. Now, the, the absorption of amino acids is, is one thing, but then we've got to utilize them at the other end. And so it really, all these ratios all do matter. Okay. So what I'm going to talk about is this uh, new supplement that we have, Amino Wise, and it is having some interesting effects in our household. So let me share that with you. I have a 20, oh, well, coming up on 20 year old son. I have to bug him to take his teen pack. Uh, you know, if you've seen that video about the teen uh, supplement program, the Juvitone Sulfurzyme uh, combination. And I have to bug him. You know, you kill every once in a while, he'll look kind of pale and, and feel weak. And, and uh, he's growing fast. He doesn't eat enough, just plain doesn't eat enough to keep up with his body. And so I'll. I'll look at him and go, oh, have you taken your supplement? No, I haven't taken my supplement. So he'll take the supplements. Well, we, I, he started into this, you know, this month with the, you know, supporting the musculoskeletal system and he started taking the amino wise. Well, and then I come to find out that, you know, he's, he's, he's down, he's, he's eating the whole bottle. I was like, are, are you taking your amino wise? He goes, yeah, I like it. So he's taking it on his own. Now, this is unusual. Okay, so you know it's got, I know it's got to be helping him. And so I asked him, I said, well, why are you taking it? Well, it, it actually tastes pretty good. I'm like, well, that is not why he's taking it. There's a lot of stuff that tastes good. I said, well, what, you know, why else? What is it? He goes, well, I don't know if it's helping. You know how they are. I don't know if it's really helping. But since I've been taking this, I don't feel weak. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm never feeling faint. And I'm like, you've been feeling weak and faint? I mean, come on. Uh, so, in other words, he's very stabilized and, and things are going. So, can amino acids give you energy? Well, here's story number two. I asked Amy, I said, well, you know, what's going on? Have you tried the amino wise? She goes, well, I have and I want to get more of it, but I want to leave the rest for Isaiah because she's noticing the big difference in, in him and how stable he is and how he's running around getting ready. He's getting ready to go to, go to college. And, uh, and he's doing all this thing. He's going out doing his own shopping and he's, he's running around having long days and handling it. Well, so she decided to go ahead and, and try some of this stuff. And she did things throughout the day. I mean, these are things that would have blown her out and, you know, she ran around, did all the stuff. And at the end she had energy left over and it was a very noticeable thing. So what is going on with aminos and energy? So let me explain something here. These are people that I, you know, I, I know very well, my wife and my son, they don't work out. Okay, so working out is not in the, in the issue here. So why would a normal person who doesn't work out at the gym, not a gym rat, why would they want to take aminos? Okay, and um, here's the thing, and I need to talk about this when we get to the, the nervous system, but amino acids are, some of the amino acids are basic building blocks 
for your neurotransmitters. If you don't get good amino acid uh, profiles and absorption, you're not going to get your, your, amino, uh, your neurotransmitters to function. And so the amino acids are so much more than just, oh, I want to build some muscle. Uh, they really function in so many different areas of the body. And so anyway, yes, it can actually stabilize and give you energy to, uh, by taking amino acids. Now let's look a little more closely at this amino-wise. Uh, it's very sophisticated. It says on here, helps with muscle recovery, okay? One of the things that happens in working out, and uh, and if you're talking about bodybuilding, here's where a lot of the motivation comes. These are in bodybuilders, and they do, uh, there's a fair amount of research, and especially supplement research in, in amino acids and other bodybuilding supplements. And the, the muscle physiology research and all that has identified that there's something called stress-induced muscle wasting, okay? You can, when, you, when you put the body under stress, there's a shift that happens, uh, and, it, and it has to do with leucine um, metabolism, leucine and isoleucine metabolism. And what ends up happening is we end up tearing down muscle, even if you're, you know, even if you, you're, you're supposedly uh, still working out and still pushing them on the muscles, you end up tearing it down. And there's a way to, to insert or, or to kind of short circuit that or stop that process. And if you feed these branch chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine, which by the way, all three of those are essential amino acids, these branch chain, and this is what, this is the main uh, uh, platform for this, is the branch chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine in the right proportions. What it does is it stabilizes that process and helps maintain that muscle. And so here we've got helps muscle recovery and enhanced performance. I believe it. I'm not a, one that goes and works out. I would love to hear people uh, give me a report on what their energy levels are like if they're going and working out and they're used to working out because I'm, I'm looking at two people who don't work out at all and this little, this little half a scoop a day has been making a big difference to their stamina and energy just getting through the day. So if you find yourself fatigued, uh, and even though you're doing your other stuff, especially if you are supporting your energy system artificially with a whole bunch of caffeine and uh, maybe a patch or a drink or some other kinds of, of products that are just basically goosing you, uh, that's, that's really kind of covering up the problem that you don't have sustained energy. Perhaps it's your amino acid, if certainly get your amino acid absorption on track by getting rid of your partially hydrogenated vegetable oil but uh, or or fully hydrogenated vegetable and but then getting these aminos in the right proportions into the body and it doesn't take massive amounts you don't have to have 10 scoops of this stuff um i i really think I, isaiah was is, is taking less than one scoop a day and seeing results so a fabulous fabulous product this is our new amino wise and of course here we are talking about the musculoskeletal system a decent, you know, just a great time to explore a product like this, even if you're not working out. Right now, we're just focusing on paying attention to the musculoskeletal system. Great way to uh, give a little boost to that and uh, and help with that muscle recovery. And I said, like I said, if muscle recovery, if you're working out, you know what muscle recovery is. If you're not working out and you're just a person that wants to be healthy, muscle recovery is basically when if your body doesn't have the resources, you just you know, you just fall out. I mean, there's no, you have no energy at the end of the day or even halfway through the day. Okay, so uh, taking extra aminos, great idea for, uh, for su supplementing the, the musculoskeletal system. And as I will note, when we get to the nervous system, very, very important to, to keep boosting your, uh, your neurotransmitters. Happy wellness, one day at a time.